So these M&A activities, right, these merger and acquisition activities have to abide by the regulations, the rules of the game for each country, right? And so we have in each country a set of antitrust laws. This term antitrust comes from 100 years ago when some of the first monopolies emerged. Uh, the steel trust, the sugar trust, uh, the the oil standard oil company, right? So uh, it's kind of an antiquated word, but really, anytime you see trust, you can kind of replace that with monopoly. Uh, and so this is anti-monopolistic behavior laws, right? So these are laws that give the government the power to block certain mergers. And in some cases, they actually have the power to break up larger firms into smaller ones. And so we've got some historic antitrust legislation. We've got a set of three. Uh, for the most part, though, you're often going to hear the Sherman Antitrust Act discussed. And then you'll hear the Clayton Antitrust Act. And then the third one, which is not as well known, is the Seller Kefauver. So we're not going to go into details on these for the purposes of our notes here. But... Let's see here, just quickly. The Sherman is obviously the first one. So this was in 1890. And this was mostly about breaking up Standard Oil. Standard Oil uh, had accumulated 90% of all the oils refining. And so it broke up Standard Oil into 34 independent firms. The Clayton Act outlawed mergers and acquisitions, uh, price discrimination, and tied sales. So it outlawed specifically M&A activity that would substantially lessen competition. We're going to talk about that in a second. It's not less on, it's less sin. There we go. There's two E's in there. So it did this. It outlawed price discrimination. Right, price discrimination where different customers are charged different prices for the same product. And then the last thing that the Clayton Act outlaw that we're going to talk about here is tied sales. Tied sales is when the purchase of one product commits you to purchase another product. This seller Kefalver Act, this is an extension of the Clayton. And it restricts vertical and conglomerate 
mergers. So when we're talking about mergers, we'll often talk about vertical and horizontal integration or for vertical and horizontal mergers. A vertical merger would be, uh, let's say you produce cakes and you buy the company that makes the flour and you buy the company that makes the, uh, the icing and you buy the company that makes the sugar that, that, that goes into the icing, right? So vertical integration is controlling all of the inputs that go into your final product. Horizontal mergers or integration is buying other firms that are doing the same thing that you're doing, mostly to reduce competition, right? That's, what, that's why Facebook bought Instagram because they were concerned that Instagram was going to compete. So they just bought them. They were like, here's a couple billion dollars. And the guy was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, there's actually been a recent resurgence in uh, public scrutiny of monopoly and antitrust behavior. Uh, quite recently, a scholar, uh, so an academic, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send this out as a podcast to those of you that are interested. I, this would be like three of you. Um, but it, I, I find it very interesting. So there's somebody who used to be an academic who wrote these like scale, the scathing reports about antitrust law and stuff like that. And they were actually like picked as the FTC chairwoman for the Biden administration. And so they're going after like Amazon right now for their monopoly behavior. Uh, not just in terms of the way that they position their products compared to other third-party products on their platform, um, but also just some of the behavior that Amazon does to make it like really difficult for you to unsubscribe from Amazon Prime. Like they used to actually, so they have internal documents where it's referred to as the Iliad. <laughs> they refer to their process of unsubscribing from Amazon Prime as the Iliad, right? A notoriously long and difficult journey. So, um, so there's been, you know, there's there's been for a lot of you gamers, right? There's been a lot of antitrust activity um, happening with uh, Microsoft and its ability to buy Activision, and whether or not that's going to uh, create, you know, substantively less competition in the video game market, right? So the the U.S. tried to block that, and then the U.K. as well tried to block it. Um, They've been able to, to navigate through the regulatory labyrinth, and, and uh, that deal has gone through. Um, but it's uh, there's been a lot more activity in the antitrust space than we used to see. And we're going to talk about why that is in a second here. <laughs> 